So to use the cluster stack column chart, you just have to click on modify visual button. So after clicking on it, this login page will appear on where you have to fill in all your credentials here. Or if you are a first time user, you just have to go to this. I don't have an account button. And after clicking on it, uh, this page will appear where you have to register your name, email ID, and give them the password there. So after filling all the details, you will get an activation link on your email ID. From there, you have to activate your account to access the PVV edit editor. So after you have filled in all the details and click on this modify visual button, uh, you will end up on this page. Uh, this is our visual editor. From there, you can go to the library where we have all of our visuals which is on our gallery page so from there we will go to this cluster stack column chart and click on import button once you are in uh, this editor screen will show up so if you are a new user to this tool a very quick overview of the tool uh, the left, left panel deals with the chart type and the data field. The middle panel deals with the formatting options. And the right panel is where you select your data as well as see the real time rendering of the visual. Just by clicking on this visual button, you can see the real time rendering of the visual. Now one thing to notice the data used here is just a sample data. Uh, but when you export the visual, the data will be used what you have loaded in Power BI. So if you have connected to a SQL database or an Excel file, then that data will be used. This data is just for a demonstration purpose, just to look at how the visual look like in real time. Now at the top of the editor, you will have this switch between dashboards button where you can select different dashboards. And on the right side, we have this export button and we also have these teams available and the help and support guide here as documentation now as we have already created this visual for you you just have to click on export visual button so here you can fill out all the details like version name display name description and you can keep the support url as same and you can change the author name, author email. Also, one thing to keep in mind here is that to change the GUID by clicking this refresh button. This is important because this GUID has to be unique for your visual. So when you are using this visual in your Power BI dashboard, this ID has to be unique so that it should not have a conflict with any other GUID from the marketplace or any of the visual you might have used before. Now here the fields are pre-selected on the format side. And on the format side, we recommend selecting a few options for legends. Let's take X axis. Here we have already selected all the necessary options which you will be needed in Power BI after importing the PVVS file. So for plot one and zero, let's select power bar width and bar border color and for plot zero as well here we recommend to select all of the options because you will not get second chance after you pay and download so we recommend take all the options that are here so if you are a new user on subscription plan however we recommend selecting the options that are necessary only this will help avoid clutter in your power bi visual dashboard formatting option now we recommend you to export the free visual try it out and when you are happy you can go and make a copy by click on pay and export and there is a subscription option as well so if i click on export it, it will take about a minute or two depending on how the busy server is so in a minute or two you will get a prompt that your visual has been downloaded 
once the visual is ready it will be downloaded in download folder or other alternative folder you have chosen in your local desktop now once the file has been downloaded you can open the power bi desktop now after importing the power bi desktop you can import the visual file or the pbb file from here Now, after importing the visual file, you can see that this icon will appear here. So, just click in, click on this icon, and you can have this visual, this and data bit, and fill in the data here, like categorical data on x-axis, and some numerical values such as this current sales on y-axis one and you can have previous sales value on y axis 2 and legend on the on and promotion type on the legend after filling in all the data fields we can see that our visual is ready so we hope you will be able to create some powerful insights using this cluster stack chart and do let us know if you face any issues by contacting us through the email id provided on our website thank you